Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. And that it's is full AD. That is, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I was like, oh, the fiddlestick's angle. It's there. But no, it is in fact not. The Lulu that you were talking about is going to be locked away here. And so a lot more well-rounded on the DRX side of things. But oh, it's come around again for a second go of it. Uh, this is going to be the first go of the Dragon, though. And Sponge is going to be able to lock that one down. Nicely done there by DRX. The abilities with Yone, very, very strong. Shattering Strike, extremely... Uh, feels good there, but this may not. As Sponge comes down towards the bottom side, Moonlight Vigil from Teddy is big. The Arcane Smash, fantastic. Twisted advance from Sponge to collect the second, and it's a double for Teddy. Much better performance here in Share it with Delight. Not too many charges on that one. Teleport to come in. Doran going to commit to this fight as well. The Rascal, he's already here. Shattering Strike does come down. Magnus Storm should be able to get rid of Sponge, but he flashes away. That is going to keep the Maokai alive, but he's not really in this fight, and that Equalizer could have been better. Satab tries to get Viper out of there, but I don't think they're going to be contesting this Dragon anymore, and that is secured. Good knock up there from Zekka as well, but I think Rascal is okay. As we have an Infernal Soul, and Rascal's going in once again. The Flame Spitter doing a lot of work as All Out from Doran wants to pull this Rumble in, but I don't know whether that was the right call. And Doran will go down. Harmalife is now given over to Harmalife Esports, but I don't think they're going to be able to get over here and actually stop this. They're going to trade it for an outer turret, or at least try to. Satab going to turn up. Well, I do like this rotation towards topside. Looks like they should be able to get first turret, but off of that, as Peanut is very tanky, not really in any threat uh, as of right now, but I think they might have a suspicion that a lot of people off home are towards the top side of the map. Yeah, quite a few friends down here towards the bottom side as there's the Flash Magnus Storm. Sponge gonna get pulled in as Zekka's trying to at least do something here, but it does not work out. 500 gold over to Sponge and DRX well, just... Very, very good as they desperately want to take on this mid lane turret. And this time around, it is gonna fall. And we'll see Teddy. It looks like Humble Life Esports want a team fight. Glass Cone gets Peanut over. He does have his Magnet Storm back up and available. All buttons there for Harmer Life Esports. As there's the Nature's Grass. Doran trying to get the work done. Sponge just takes it away. Great bubble and it's a three-man ulti. Magnus Storm comes in as well as Teddy is still just huge. Harmer Life Esports still yet to get a kill as well, even though the Wombo combo looked good. Ground, I guess, as Zekka. He's made it towards this turret, but it is not long for the world and it will go down. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Nonetheless. Right, Infernal Soul is going to make this composition of DRX even more lethal uh, or that far ahead. And I think it is mainly due to the side laning of Hanwha. But still, for Hanwha, they need to actually win a fight. Still no kill. Wander away, that's going to do it. Walking to the left is his strategy. Working out quite well there as Hanwha Life Esports should be able to get their second dragon. But can they finally win themselves a fight as Doran gets slowed down, mitigates some of the CC, and now he's looking for a team fight. Nature's Grasp to come in. As Zekka rebinds the soul, they get behind Doran quite nicely here. Sponge has to flash. Moonlight Vigil goes wide this time around. And DRX, they are just going to back away. They can give up a Drake, but they don't want to lose a fight here as Doran dives on forward. The all out is good. The bubble is even better. And finally, some kills come in. Magnus Storm as well from Peanut, but it's Teddy that's in trouble. Viper collects the kill there. And Humble Life Esports, they pick up their. Get themselves the dragon. That one. They just straight up got to the objective first. DRX caught a little bit of guard. Humble Life pulling the trigger. But Bullets the are finding the mark, but Viper deciding to go back to the Baron. Zekka is extraordinarily low as these harpoons are pretty scary. Bubble is good, and there goes Rascal. It's a valiant effort, but it's not going to get them a Baron as Doran teleports back in with a massive health bar. Rascal taking care of that mid lane where Zekka is pushing wave after wave, and with this Baron, it's getting dangerous. Viper now finding some damage on the sponge. Twisted advance now on cooldown. Equalizer. Moonlight Vigil both not really finding very much value. And there's the Magnus Storm. Rascal goes golden, but it's delaying the inevitable. And Viper will take that kill for the double. Teddy for the triple. Could it be even more than that? A Satap. He's going to go back to his fountain. Three kills for the Lucian, though. And I think Harmer Life Esports may just end game one here. As there's the cue to pull back the Tristana. And Zekka is diving in. First next his turret to go down and Hummel life esports i think are they going to back away they're going to look for more looking a little bit indecisive but they're going to collect another inhibitor at least as look at these void mites the mini kevs taking down these structures the nexus going to be next on the chopping block and after having zero kills 
for what felt like the entirety of the game. It's Home Alive Esports that will take game one. Slow and steady wins the race. We knew Hanwa had a composition with just one good team fight.